In order to understand oxidation re reduction reactions a little bit better, let's take a look at what we call the half reaction. Because in essence, we can think of an oxidation reduction reaction as a sum of two half reactions. So what are half reactions? Well, let's start here with uh, seeing an equation where we're combining magnesium and oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Now, magnesium has two electrons in its valence band, ready to donate those two electrons, because it's relatively easy to pull those two electrons away from magnesium. It does not take a lot of energy. Oxygen has six electrons in its valence band, and it really wants those two extra electrons. It has a strong pull to pull in two additional electrons, which means oxygen is the oxidizer and magnesium is the reducer. Oxygen causes magnesium to be uh, reduced and uh, to be, I'm sorry, to be oxidized. Whoa, now we have to be careful here. This is the oxidizer, this is the reducer. So oxygen causes magnesium to be oxidized and magnesium causes oxygen to be reduced. Which means, if you think about it, oxygen goes from a, uh, a zero uh, net charge to a minus two net charge because it gained two extra electrons. That's being reduced. And magnesium will, uh, will donate two electrons, so its net charge goes to a positive two charge because it's being oxidized. Now we can represent this whole, uh, uh, this whole reaction, oxidation reduction reaction, in two half reactions. In the first half reaction, we have magnesium that donates two electrons. So we show that here that magnesium changes to a magnesium ion, a two plus ion, with two electrons being donated. The other half reaction shows oxygen accepting the two electrons and then becoming a oxygen 2 minus ion. Now if we combine those two, if we add up all the reactants on the left side and all the products on the right side in a complete reaction, we end up with magnesium in its neutral state plus oxygen in its neutral state plus the two electrons being shared going to magnesium that's now being oxidized, oxygen that's now being reduced, plus the two electrons on the right side. And then, of course, since we have the same pairing on both sides of the equation, we can then get rid of the two electrons on both sides and end up with a single equation where we have magnesium and oxygen being joined together into magnesium oxide um, molecule. And the indication then is, for the reduction oxidation indication, is that magnesium has now been oxidized and now has a plus two net charge, and oxygen has been reduced and has a negative to net charge. Now, of course, that is just purely there for indication, not the actual situation, because we will have a polar molecule here where the electrons are partially shared between magnesium and oxygen. The, the electrons will be mostly around the oxygen, but to some extent around the magnesium, there's some sharing mechanism taking place there, and so it's not a 100% all or nothing situation, but in an oxidation reduction reaction, we indicate that as if it was a 100% uh, situation where the two electrons are permanently given to the oxygen and the two electrons are permanently given, uh, uh, removed from magnesium. But that's simply for the indication of what happens in the reaction. In real life, of course, with the structure of the atoms and the molecules, we realize that's not exactly the case. But the, the, the biggest point, point on this video here is that we can actually show that we can show the reaction in two separate steps, where in the case of the, in the, case of the reducer, it donates the two electrons. In the case of the oxidizer, it accepts the two electrons on both sides of the equation. We then get rid of that, and we end up with the net equation right here. The reason why we do that is that later on when the reactions get very complicated, using the technique of half reactions will help us figure out how the electrons are being moved around and shared by each other, how they go from the oxidizers, from the reducers to the oxidizers and, and vice versa. All right, so uh, that's a good start. If you're still interested, come and take a look and see what we have for you on the third video.